upstairs, okay, buddy? Let's go. Come on. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Good boy. And Jasper is watching Jack pack. And he is wondering, well, not so much. And I'm just going into the bathroom. <laughs> morning, Jack. Good morning. <laughs> All right, so we are going to London today. And we leave from Dayton in about, um, about three or four hours, and then we're gonna connect in Chicago. We're supposed to get to London around 8 a.m. Unfortunately, we're not go we're not allowed to check into our Airbnb until 3 p.m., so this is gonna be interesting. Okay, and that is the most important thing, which I have put on top of my coat. <laughs> Poor guy's just wondering, what's going on? All right, packed and ready to go to London. Hopefully, we will have no issues getting out of here. Yeah, because I had issues trying to get to Arizona, which I'll explain in a moment. What you doing here? No, we're not going there. Yeah, we're not going to John and Janice. Go in this way, buddy. Go into the car. Car, let's go. It's three degrees, you guys. <laughs> it's very cold. Very cold, and you're a native Ohioan. All right, so it has been somewhat of a debacle of sorts. I was supposed to run the half marathon in Tempe, Arizona, and was psyched, was pumped, was prepared, was all trained for it. Then I started to kind of keep track of the loads for the flights, and they just started to get worse and worse. Um, just recently, there have been a lot of um, planes that had to be investigated, and so I think that definitely had an effect as well as a lot of this weather. So we are going to try our luck with London and hopefully that will be a lot better. Hi, Jasper. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hi. <laughs> Say hi. Try to stay positive, right? Yeah, I'm just gonna stay positive. <laughs> so our flight to Chicago has been delayed twice, and we went from having three and a half hours to connect to our London flight to now an hour and a half. We're just sitting at the bar at Dayton Airport and gonna have a drink or two and try to relax and pray. <laughs> Okay, the plane finally departed Chicago. It got delayed again, but it now departed Chicago. So we are just going to have like 30 minutes to get from our gate to the next. We are at the gate and the flight should be here soon. We should be boarding pretty soon. And it looks like there is a little bit more wiggle room in between flights, which is good. Yeah, we now have like an hour and 20 minutes to get from one to the next. <laughs> Okay, we're leaving Dayton now and we're on our way to Chicago and we have literally like 45 minutes to connect to our next flight. He's confident, I'm not, but I freak out about everything, so whatever. We'll be good. All is good. Okay, love the positivity, my friend. Yes. Love the positivity. Yes. My man. Will it to happen? Will it to happen Will indeed, happen. yes. <laughs> Manifest. Put it out to the universe. Yes. we got the upgrades that we wanted. Keeping our fingers crossed. Hold on. Do it again. <laughs> Darn. We got the upgrade. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we just watched Fargo last night. <laughs> oh. Oh. Ah, we are delayed again, you guys. This is turning out to be one hell of a trip so far. I didn't tell you what happened in Arizona. Oh yeah. I was supposed to run a half marathon in Arizona and I was not able to get a flight anywhere. Not out of Ohio, not out of Virginia, not out of DC or Maryland, 
nowhere. So unfortunately, I missed the rock and roll half marathon in Tempe. It's my, actually my third half marathon in a row that I have missed, either because of stuff like this or weather or just unforeseen crap. <laughs> really, really hoping, really hoping that we are not going to cancel. I'm not trying to put that out there in the universe. <laughs> I'm not, I don't want for that to manifest, but we're already in Chicago and I feel like we're so close and we've already been upgraded. Come on. <laughs> right? Get out of here. I know. Good morning, actually no, good afternoon you guys. We are here in London now and we are searching for the underground once we get through this somewhat of a labyrinth of an airport. <laughs> staying at an Airbnb in Notting Hill and yeah the room that we have is really cute it's small but it's very cute and I will do the room tour when we get back I need to get coffee first we're actually going to try to maybe power through for like the next four 
five hours and then maybe rest before dinner. But yeah, I, I can't fall asleep right now. Otherwise I'm gonna feel, I don't know, I have a headache. Like I have like a caffeine withdrawal headache. So I know that if I fall asleep and wake up in a couple of hours, it's gonna be a lot worse. Hey, what's up you guys? We got settled in and had our coffees and now we're just gonna go to Kensington Gardens and Hyde Park. Jack, how do you feel about being in England? I'm loving it. <laughs> <Hi>. <laughs> <laughs> It is time for food. I have not eaten literally all day today. Yes. Ooh, and walking through the park, what, like two or three miles? Man, I almost passed out. I'm hungry. <laughs> Mall, M-A-L-L, not M-A-L-T. Mall, mall tavern, not malt tavern. <laughs> but right now, just to cap off the evening, we are gonna go head to Big Ben and Westminster Abbey and walk around the London Eye. <laughs> Jack's excited. <laughs> We just walked out of the underground and there it is. And I wish I had recorded Jack's reaction. <laughs> yeah, that's big ears. You know, this, that's going in my vlog, right? <laughs> yeah, I know. 